Who will believe my verse in time to come if it were filled with your most high deserts? Though yet heaven knows it is but as a tomb which hides your life and shows not half your parts. If I could write the beauty of your eyes and in fresh numbers number all your graces. The age to come would say, this poet lies. Such heavenly touches ne'er touched earthly faces. So should my papers, yellowed with their age, be scorned like old men of less truth than tongue. And your true rights be termed a poet's rage, and stretch in meter of antique song. But were some child of yours alive that time, you should live twice, in it and in my rhyme. Not marble nor the gilded monuments of princes shall outlive this powerful rhyme. But you shall shine more bright in these contents than unswept stone be smeared with sluttish time. When wasteful war shall statues overturn and broils root out the work of masonry. Nor Mars his sword, nor war's quick fire shall burn the living record of your memory. Against death in all oblivious enmity shall you pace forth, your praise shall still find room. Even in the eyes of all posterity that wear this world out to the ending doom. So till the judgment that yourself arise, you live in this and dwell in lover's eyes. shall have, though I, once gone, to all the world must die. The earth can yield me but a common grave, when you entombed in men's eyes shall lie. Your monument shall be my gentle verse, which eyes not yet created shall overread. And tongues to be your being shall rehearse, when all the breathers of this world are dead. He still shall live, since virtue hath been pen, where breath most breathes even.